How do you keep track of all of the metrics in YouTube Studio to improve your channel just to see how it's going? Well, of course, there's YouTube Studio itself and the analytics, and the analytics are great, but sometimes it's a bit too much. You know, looking to see how long people have uh, stayed watching your channel and so on. Well, what I have been doing so far has been storing them in a spreadsheet. And it's a bit of an elaborate spreadsheet, but I get to see patterns. So uh, so this spreadsheet, as you can see, is for 2021. So I can, I can see at a high level what the pattern is of uh, how many views I've, I've had for each month. So it's about 100,000 views in a month. Uh, July isn't at the end yet, so that's why the numbers are down quite substantially so far in July. I get to see my daily average, and once again, I can see that July, I suppose being the uh, US, uh, the Northern Northern Hemisphere summer, things are, are quieter on my channel. How many hours a day on average people are watching my uh, channel? So there's more than 24 hours a day. So there's one person watching and watching it on repeat. No, that's not how it happens. They're all watching it in bits and pieces. I get to see how many subscribers I get per day, how many subscribers I grow by, and other things like the click-through rate. So I can see that my thumbnails are, and my titles are generating about 11% click-through rate, which I'm pretty happy with. I get to see where my YouTube traffic is coming from on the YouTube search. So I've got all of that in a spreadsheet, and each of the months, you can see I've got one for each day of the year. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I've done is I'm just experimenting with doing this in Notion instead. And if you haven't seen Notion before, you don't have to worry about formulas. You don't have to, well, it's got a few formulas, but it's just a much simpler way of doing it. Pretty much everything I've learned about Notion is from August Bradley, and I'd highly recommend his productivity series on his channel, August Bradley. I'll include a link to the descript in the description. But you can get to see what date it is that I'm collecting the metrics for, how many views, uh, how many hours people have been watching things for, and how many subscribers. It's really, really easy for me to update all of this. And I get to see how much revenue I've got each day as well. And so just to add a new entry here, in Notion, then I'm going to put in the date. So let's say we'll do it for the 21st. I click there, July the 20, 21st, and it automatically populates that. Okay, that's a Wednesday. How many views I've had? And so I would just go straight to my YouTube analytics and check how many views, um, how many, what the watch time is, how many subscribers I got for that day, for July, for whatever the date is how many subscribers I got, and so on. Now, is that a better way of doing it? Well, uh, it's quite easy to do. I think it's easier to do, especially on mobile, than doing it with Google uh, Sheets, uh, doing it with a spreadsheet. But I will also, in in Notion, I'll be, I'll be, I'm also able to calculate things like averages here down the bottom here, uh, the average per day, the average watch time per day, uh, total number of subscribers or the average number of subscribers I get a day, that sort of thing. And then when you've got a bit of an overview, you can see some patterns there and you can say, you know what, I'm seeing that on Saturdays and Sundays I'm really not getting a lot of traffic uh, or I'm seeing that after I've changed my, my thumbnail style, I'm seeing that that has worked and it's generated a bit more traffic, 13% people are clicking through. Or I can see, you know, that people are not watching my videos for very long, and so that's a bit of a problem. So you get to see patterns without having to jump all over the place here. So it's up to you whether you use something like Google Sheets or YouTube Stats. Now, just uh, the final uh, final view, you get to see what my uh, projected monthly revenue is going to be. So my average revenue for, for July is quite low. This is from uh, YouTube ad revenue. There's a lot of other places you can get a, a revenue. It's $13. And so, uh, that's, so I'm aim, aiming for $400 uh, US, which is quite low. 
considering that in previous months I've got up, uh, looking at the US dollars here, I've been up around even as high as $700, um, 470, 577. But as I say, I think that's because the July, August, uh, summer, summer period, uh, there are people less likely to be looking at YouTube at all, and especially looking at YouTube with its Zoom um, theme, which is uh, a really a work a work focused uh, theme that I have on my YouTube channel.